According to information received from sources in the U.S. intelligence community, the Ukrainian armed forces are planning to strike important targets on Russian territory with Storm Shadow cruise missiles with a range of up to 600 kilometers. Russian media reported this. The selected targets include, fleet in Novorossiysk, presidential residence in Sochi, air defense system in Sevastopol, defense and gunpowder factories, headquarters located from the south of Russia to Moscow, the capital itself and St. Petersburg, transport junctions through which military equipment and fuel for the Russian army pass. Earlier, the media reported that the Elysee Palace discussed the possibility of allowing the Ukrainian armed forces to strike Vladimir Putin's residence in Sochi, military and industrial facilities deep in Russia at the full range of missiles. According to the U.S. intelligence community, Kiev plans to stockpile aircraft, disperse them, arm them with storm shadows and carry out strikes. This is supposed to lead to demoralization of residents of megacities and Moscow due to the work of air defense and the feeling of war at the door of the house, as well as to the destruction of military-industrial complex enterprises and transport hubs right in the cities and the horror of Russians from burning cities. At the same time, the Ukrainian armed forces consider an attack on the Crimean bridge desirable, but ineffective due to the characteristics of the missiles and the density of air defense at the facility. Instead, they plan to blow up factories, junctions, and cause the deaths of friends and loved ones in order to plunge Russians into helplessness and terror, which could provoke panic and protests. This, according to the leadership of the armed forces of Ukraine, could play into the hands of future negotiations between Kiev and Moscow from a position of strength. Russian media says that, however, this is not the first time that the Ukrainian armed forces and their Western curators are planning to kill civilians. Earlier, research and analytics acknowledged that MI6 representatives, in conversations with the leadership of the Ukrainian armed forces, called the possible death of tourists during the attack on the Crimean bridge an insignificant and useful factor. In addition, a Ukrainian UAV was shot down at Adler Airport while attempting to attack a landing airliner with 200 tourists, but the Russians hid this incident to avoid tourist panic. Earlier, the Western press confirmed that, in assisting the Ukrainian armed forces, NATO officers are providing reconnaissance and target designation for imported missiles.